Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Max Elwe and Paul Keres. This is a game from Elwe Keres match, played in Amsterdam in 1939. Max Elwe had white pieces and he started with d4. Paul Keres played d5. c4, Queen's Gambit c6, slow defense, knight to f3, knight to f6, c takes on d5, the exchange slow, c takes on d5, knight to c3, knight to c6, bishop to f4, black to move, bishop to f5, a6, and e6 are the three most played moves nowadays. Paul Keres played queen to a5, pinning the knight. e3, knight to e4, pressure is on the knight on c3. Queen to b3, e6, bishop to d3, bishop to b4, bishop takes on e4, d takes on e4, knight to d2, and both players castle king's side. Let's take this back. If in this position, Knight on d takes on e4, then perhaps black can play e5, and after d takes on e5, bishop to e6, back to our game, so we have castling, queen to f5, knight on d takes on e4, bishop takes on c3, and now knight to g3 attacking the queen. If knight takes on c3, knight takes on d4, and then White is advised not to take the knight because a queen takes bishop. So Max Elwe played the best move, knight to g3, attacking the queen, queen to d5. Pawn takes bishop, white is a pawn up and better developed. Knight to a5, queen to b4, b6, e4, queen to c6, rook from f to d1, Rook to d8, rook to d3. Very interesting move. The rook may be going to g3 or h3. Bishop to a6, rook to f3, rook to d7. White to move. What is the best move for white in this position? What would you do? Max Ewe played knight to h5. The best move is rook to e1. We will see shortly why. Knight to h5 was played, and black must be very careful now. Let's play a random move. If knight to c4, then rook to g3, and after g6, knight to f6, check, and white is winning. After king to g7, white even doesn't have to take the rook. e5, and black is hopeless. Okay. Back to our game. This is the position. And Paul Keres played f6. Not the best move. Keres missed the best move, and that is a bishop to e2. That is why rook to e1 would be a better move. If Keres played bishop to e2, the game would continue like this. Rook to h3, bishop takes knight, rook takes bishop, queen takes on e4. And black is doing well. Back to our game. F6 was played. Rook to g3. King to h8. If some random move, let's say knight to c4, the knight takes on f6. Check. Or perhaps bishop to h6 is even stronger. That is why. Paul Keres played king to h8. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Perhaps e5 is not a bad move. But that was a surprise. Knight takes on g7 was played. Black to move. To take or not to take. Queen takes pawn on e4 was played. If rook takes on g7, rook takes on g7, king takes on g7, queen to e7 check, king to g8, 
bishop to h6, threatening checkmate, and after queen to b7, queen takes on f6. And this position was not something that Keres wanted. Back to our game. So in this position we have a queen takes on e4, knight to h5, queen to f5, defending the pawn on f6. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? The best move for white is knight takes on f6, rook to f7. If queen takes on f6, bishop to e5, and bye bye queen. So we have rook to f7, bishop to e5, threatening a nasty discovered attack. But Keres played knight to c6, attacking white queen and the bishop on e5. Queen to d6, knight takes on e5, d takes on e5, rook from a to f8, h3 to avoid possible back rank problems. Bishop to c4 attacking the pawn on a2. If rook moves, then bishop takes pawn and black would win in the endgame. Definitely, maybe. That is what black pawn on a7 was hoping for. There was a surprise or a blunder. What is this? Rook to d1. Oh no. What is Elway doing? He is losing the pawn. Bishop takes pawn on a2, and black pawn on a7 is laughing out loud on the inside. White move. How can white improve his position? Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? Max Elwe found a very good improvement, and black designed. The move is queen to d8. Just kidding. No, I am not. Black resigned in view of this continuation. Rook takes queen. Rook takes rook, check. Rook to f8. Rook takes rook, check, mate. And what else? If rook takes on f6, pawn takes rook, queen takes pawn, queen takes queen, check. Rook takes queen, rook to d8, check. Rook to f8, rook takes rook, checkmate. The pawn on a7 was very sad. He wanted to be a queen, but this wasn't his day. After the game, pieces were put in a bag and they slept peacefully together until next day. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.